हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज आशा योर वॉचिंग मी टेक मै है This time Anubhav is with us, so he came forward to share his interview experience with Nagaru. So, guys, before moving into this video, so if any of you would like to share your experience with uh, whatever company uh, interview you experience, so you are always welcome. So, just send a mail to us that you are uh, interested to share interview experience and list the companies you got placed in, and we will contact you and uh, we can make a video. So guys, without any delay, let's jump into this video. Uh, hi, Anubhav. So, thank you for showing interest in sharing your experience through our channel. Okay. So, so you got placed in Nagaro, right? Yes. Yeah. So Lately I got placed in Nagaro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, could you tell us uh, what was the uh, written? Uh, sorry, for the interview pattern, what, how is how was it? my interview started and it uh, went on for more than a half an hour like uh, about uh, 35 to 40 minutes uh, the first question that uh, he asked what like uh, it was quite natural like uh, tell me about yourself uh, like this is the first question every fresher face uh, whenever you go on for an interview uh, then i told him about myself in uh, two or three minutes uh, then uh, uh, he like he moved on to some oops concept, some basic oops concept. He asked me about it, like for example, polymorphism and inheritance. I told him about it. Um, then, like he asked uh, the live example about polymorphism. Like I uh, gave him some live example. One more question that he asked me that uh, the difference between the abstraction, uh, oh, sorry, the difference between the uh, encapsulation and uh, abstraction, yes. This was a question was asked to me, uh, like I explained him again. He asked me about the live example, uh, like uh, real life example. So like uh, this was the first question uh, after that, like we proceeded. So like uh, in my Nagaro coding round, I received three questions. Out of those three questions, he asked me to explain anyone. So like uh, one was to find the prime number. So like uh, we all know how to find the prime number, but uh, like uh, uh, there is a trick to find a prime number like uh, more or less it's an algorithm sieve algorithm so like uh, i did using that uh, uh, the coding question so i explained him about uh, my thought process about that algorithm he was quite happy with it then he asked three more question coding question as you see like uh, nagaro interview is all about coding questions so mm -hmm. he asked three uh, more question uh, one was easy Second one was of medium level and third was of hard level. And like if you are a regular participant of a lead code contest or uh, of code chef or code forces, you can easily sail through it. Uh, so like I was able to get through it. First question was uh, easy. Like uh, what he asked me that uh, like uh, there is a number, for example, 1 did 17. So which is a perfect square, which is very close to it. Even if you are new to programming, you can get through it. Uh, the second question uh, uh, what I'm able to recall is that he asked me like uh, given an array it was an array uh, given an array and uh, you are required to find the three closest number to it in an array. So like uh, I never practiced this question uh, anywhere else uh, uh, not also uh, any question close to it. So like it was quite a tricky question for me initially but still like uh, instantaneously i gave him the my intuition uh, for one of the algorithm uh, that was going in my mind uh, that was in of order of n square more or less it was a brute force approach he was not satisfied with it then i tried doing that question using dictionary uh, then we had a discussion over this question um, then like i moved on to the third approach uh, but like he was more focusing on to reduce the time complexity uh, so like what I was doing, I was like uh, from like n square, I went on to n log n. Like he was still asking me to get to n. So sir, uh, so I said sir, like uh, this is the best as of now what I can do, sir. And right now, uh, more than it, nothing is striking my mind. So like uh, started uh, like uh, laughing. Then uh, like uh, he was like uh, okay, like it's okay, it happens. Sir but like your approaches were uh, quite good. He was happy with me. Then he asked the third question, but the third question was 
it was i would say that it was not a question it was more or less a discussion on that mm-hmm. question like he was asking me what's your approach and about so i explained him like uh, like this can be done by this so the question was very tough but still like uh, i told like how to go the half way and he was quite satisfied with me and then like he said to me that anubhav like hr will connect with you and the call was over but like uh, then after that i contacted some of my friends so they said that my interview went on at most 20 25 minutes but uh, my interview went for 30 to 40 minutes <laughs> so i would say that uh, the interview was quite kind and benevolent <laughs> so this all was all about my nagaros interview okay so and, uh, one more thing this was the toughest interview that i ever faced uh, with the company so so it, uh, you told me all about uh, tr questions and all right so what about the hr like is the same guy who asked the hr or is, uh, it was something different from no 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 actually what happens in nagaro at first uh, they check your uh, technical skills if you are good at it and the interview is satisfied at his end so he like uh, uh, forward your uh, what should okay. i say your candidature to hr and then hr connect with you within a day or two so okay. like i had my hr round just uh, the next day so okay. i had my hr round and like the hr was just the formality as you see they just mm-hmm. ask you basic hr question why do you want to join uh, like uh, what are the certification do you have and like uh, one interesting question uh, he asked me like uh, one was a general question like uh, what is the difference between confidence and over confidence and one more question what is the difference between uh, passion and like there is a similar thing to passion as well hobby okay. uh, he asked me <laughs> what yeah. is the difference between passion and a hobby so okay. like uh, then we had a discussion over this thing that's all like i was done and he was quite happy with my presentation whatever i said to him so like then we greeted and the call ended this was mm-hmm. about my interview okay. experience so after completing this interview so uh, for after how many days you received your confirmation letter or your offer letter uh, like uh, i would say within a week itself mm-hmm. okay like uh, in certain text to the interview process like uh, nagaro is really serious like uh, if you get selected they'll send you the immediate mail if you don't get even selected they'll send you the rejection mail okay. like uh, they will not let you be stranded <laughs> So, what's the package of Nagaro they are offering to you? Nagaro is offering three point five LPA. So, is it like an immediate joining or a full time like, or uh, they are offering an internship kind of thing before? No, no, no. I am getting a full time offer from Nagaro. Uh, like, firstly, I will join as a trainee for three months. Like, uh, this is a process for each and every company. Then I will be absorbed as a full time employee, uh, as an associate software engineer in Nagaro. That's good. So, uh, can you tell us about uh, what the written test happened? Uh, how the how it happened and what's the pattern kind? Uh, sure. Firstly, like uh, you need to like should I tell you about like how I applied for as well? Yeah, sure. So, sure. at first I went on to their uh, site career page. Therein I applied by like uh, entering my resume there, and then I received a mail from there and that uh, will contact you within fifteen or twenty days. Though they didn't did, they contacted me in a month. uh mm-hmm. i received my assessment uh, uh from one of the nagaros person and mm-hmm. uh, like uh, it was uh, just the immediate after it uh, like i would say like yeah. today i received and tomorrow was the exam uh, okay. so i was supposed to give and it was of 1 hour mm-hmm. so i gave the exam like there were four sections uh the first section was english second section was uh, logical Third, third was quant, and they were really easy. Like if you have practiced some of the basics concept of time and work, and if you have did some of the basic reasoning question, you can sail through it easily. Now coming on to the fourth question, uh, fourth part uh, that is the DS concepts. Uh, mm-hmm. So they asked some uh, basic DS questions there. I would not say basic, but it was of uh, some medium kind. But okay. it depends like how much uh, you are, pre- how much you are prepared. Yeah. accordingly you can decide uh, like uh, one to question i remember i would like to share like uh, there was a question on dfs and i was required to solve it and uh, there was some concept as well like to find the space complexity and time complexity 
around 18 to 20 question were there out of which five to six question were from uh, time complexity and space complexity and uh, if i bif uh, bifurcate uh, further uh, out of those five uh, four were from prime complexity and one was from space complexity Mm -hmm. So like uh, we can say like uh, space complexity and time complexity do dominate in Nagaro's exam. And even in um, uh, your interview process, they ask me what is the yeah. time complexity and space complexity. So one should be really prepared with it. Uh, so this was a process uh, and this uh, went on. This ass assessment went on for one hour. Mm -hmm. um, I completed it uh, then like in that very mail you get uh, the assignment for coding as well assessment for coding as well. So after doing it uh, within an hour I have to attend that coding question uh, those coding questions as well. There were three coding question 1.5 hours. So sure. I was supposed to do it uh, and uh, one was simple. The second one was uh, of medium level and third was all uh, third was also of medium level. So I was able to sail through all the three questions. They were medium level. So yes, then I received a call from them within a week. An interview was scheduled. Okay. So Anbo, so after going through these many companies and you know after attending these many interviews, you got to know the you know the things the IT uh, wants from people. So what would you like to suggest to the people you know, for the freshers and all? So how they should prepare if they want to step into IT and would like to apply for these JNs, IT JNs and all? Sure, sure, sure. For uh, like getting a placement offer from uh, any of the companies, the basic thing you need to do, like as you see, each and every IT companies uh, has its process. For example, they first test you in stage one, that's your uh, uh, quants, logical reasoning, and uh, DS abilities. Uh, so, like, you should uh, brush up uh, uh, your skills. From where did I prepare? Like, I went through India Big Sites, uh, and uh, there is a YouTube channel or like uh, a test series, rather, I should say, of testbook.com. I used to prepare from it. Like, I used to give quants, uh, uh, like, uh, mock test papers from, uh, from there. From lo for logical reasoning as well, and like uh, from first year itself, uh, I had a strong hold over DS, so like uh, I was able to get through each and every company's exam if they ask uh, me DS. So this is how I prepared for quants and like for uh, quants and for the stage one for every company's process. Now coming on to the interview, like as you see, the pandemic is going on, and uh, there are very less recruitment and more of the layoffs uh, in this sector. So it was uh, quite a task for me to contest in such a contested arena of placement. So like I made up my mind and like initially when the placement started, I faced rejections. So from there itself, uh, I learned like what are the mistakes I am making? Uh, and like and I just don't learn. I used to write them in like I made up a diary, small diary, wherein I used to write uh, like Okay, I faced this question. I was not able to answer. I used to go through each and every blog or any of the video I could find relevant to it. I used to go through it, write down the answer, grab the concept, and this is how I prepared for it. Okay. And like uh, this was my placement journey, and I got placed with Nagaro. So like yes. uh, I would suggest like keep on trying uh, the site that I suggested, or you can go through any other site. I went through Facebook. You can go through any book like RS Agarwal or whatever one feels relevant, but like you should have basic understanding. Like if for someone ask you a uh, time work question, you should be able to answer with uh, in 10 to 15 seconds because there in the exam at stage one of any company you will not get that much of time at, sure. and like uh, like one should never think that they will get the calculator there. So try practicing without the calculator, improve your calculation and you will easily sail through it because they are not that tough. Just it requires some basic question, uh, like basic preparation. This is yes. all you need. And uh, yes, one more thing, like these days, as you see, like uh, coding has become a very vital part of the IT industry. Yes. So like I would suggest the those people who are entering in the college on the first year, or those who are studying in the second or the third year, I would ask them to practice uh, at least one question on any of the platform of their will. 
so that uh, they can build up their concepts they can uh, strengthen their uh, command over coding because yes. it is a sole requirement uh, of uh, today's era yes so this was thing i would like to suggest okay. So actually, you gave very good, uh, you know, suggestions for the freshers and uh, you know upcoming batches, and uh, it's really amazing to hear from you, like how you prepared and uh, have you made yourself to crack IT companies, you know, interviews and got selected to those IT games. So and lastly, thank you very much for sharing this interview experience because your interview experience might help at least one guy out there, so it might help them to get placed. So thank you a lot uh, once again. so that's it it was a pleasure connecting with you yeah thank you so okay that's it okay bye bye and